freedom is once again on the horizon for Canadian Egyptian journalist Mohamed Fahmy and his Al Jazeera colleagues, though they're not quite there yet. A court in Cairo has granted them a retrial but did not release them. The three men have been detained in a jail for over a year, convicted of spreading unrest. Middle East correspondent Derek Stoffel has been following this case. He's in Jerusalem. So, Derek, this development comes after months of detention for these men. What can you tell us about their case and convictions? Well, there was a lot of hope going into today's hearing in Cairo that the three Al Jazeera journalists, including the Canadian Egyptian journalist um, Mohammed Fahmi, would be set free. That did not happen. There was a hearing at Egypt's top court this morning. It was brief, about 30 minutes. Reporters weren't even allowed into the hearing, only some family members and lawyers. So according to defense lawyers, here's what happened, that the prosecution actually made the admission that there were major problems with the evidence with the original case case that led to the conviction of the three journalists back in the summer. Now, they were charged with um, spreading false news and aiding the now-banned Muslim Brotherhood, but they've always denied that these charges were false, that they were simply reporting the news. And the evidence in the original trial was very weak. You might remember there was some video played. It showed horses running through the desert and a number of uh, photos that appeared to be from one of the accused, Peter Gresta of Australia, family vacation photos. Now, the three journalists say they, are, they did nothing wrong, but they will stay in jail for at least the next month. That's when the, the retrial could get going. So a lot of disappointment that they weren't set free today. Now, you had a chance to speak with uh, Mohammed Fahmy's family. What kind of reaction are you getting from them? They were very disappointed. I spoke to Adil Fahmy, uh, one of the brothers of Mohammed Fahmy, and he told me that very disappointing, that the family, the whole family, had really been expecting that they would get a chance to see him today. He would be released from prison. Uh, Adil Fahmy said that the Canadian government has been very helpful, but he called on Prime Minister Stephen Harper to get directly involved and call the President of Egypt and call for the release of his brother. There was a statement posted on Twitter today uh, on Mohammed Fahmy's Twitter account. He said, the retrial is a milestone, milestone toward victory in his battle for press freedom. He added that our spirits are bulletproof. A little bit less optimistic from his fiance, she said mixed feelings, disappointed that he wasn't released, but glad there is at least a retrial, although she says uh, she's uncertain as to what will happen next. I can't, I can't even imagine that he will stay for a year in prison. Um, his lawyer, Amal Clooney, just applied to the Egyptian presidency and the Egyptian prosecutor for Mohammed to be deported to Canada and be treated as a Canadian citizen and um, to continue the, 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 the trial uh, there. And, of course, the next move is really up to the Egyptian judiciary. There will be this retrial, but all eyes are actually now on the Egyptian president, Abdel Fattah al-Sisi. He has said in the past that he could pardon the two of the three men because they hold uh, they are foreigners. But Sisi has also said he will not act while this case is before the courts. So we'll have to wait and see what happens at that retrial, hopefully within the next month. Derek, thanks for the latest. That's Middle East correspondent Derek Stoffel reporting from Jerusalem.